It's that time of year where we're back in the garage getting everything ready to head out to King of the Hammers. It's our downtime. It's time to go through the buggies and our off-road toys and get everything ready for next year. But at the same time, it's got me thinking about last year. And the truth is, we really had an awesome year last year. Starting off with King of the Hammers in 2023. We went out to King of the Hammers and had a blast. We did a ton of trail wheeling, got to get out and hit the trails, take this car out for the first time. That was one of the first times we really got to try this thing out. I had a great time capturing the race and, and helping out in the pits. And then the last day we were there, we had a great day out on the trails as well. So that trip was a total blast. <laughs> Not long after King of the Hammers, we got back to town, had a little time to go through everything. Then we headed out for an awesome trip out to Sand Hollow. So not long after getting back from Sand Hollow, we're able to go hit up Moab, Utah for Easter Jeep Safari. The first weekend we went out and hit some red rock trails like Hell's Revenge, made some new friends. Had an awesome time out there because it's hard to have a bad time in Moab. The second weekend we went back out there for Jeep Safari, we went out to Area BFE. We also hit up the local trail called Rear Steer, met up with the Fabin 801 guys and met Max Chase from 4Max Off-Road and just made some new friends that weekend as well. Also went into Area BFE to hit some of the infamous local trails there. What a great way to start the spring. Then, not long after that, we ended up making yet a third trip out to Moab. Now, me personally, I can't get enough of Moab. So it was great to catch up with our longtime friend Zig and go hit up trails like Metal Masher. Now, that's an awesome trail. We took our side-by-side -side and our four-seat buggy and just went out there and just enjoyed the views. And it was great to get back out on these trails that we hadn't been back on for a long time. We were also able to get back out to Whitewash Sand Dunes. If you've never been out to Whitewash Sand Dunes in Moab, you're truly missing out. This is an open OHV area, very similar to Sand Hollow. And I can't believe that more people don't go rock crawling out there. I don't know, maybe someday we'll go out there, try to find some new lines within the open OHV area. But truly, this is an epic area that we need to get out to more. You see, we don't always just go rock crawling. Some of the other things we like to do is dirt biking, side-by-sides, anything off-road related. Those are hobbies that we really enjoy. Then, not long after returning from our Moab trips, we had Best of the West 23 in Montrose, Colorado. This is a super fun get-together where just invite, have a loosely unorganized event where invite people from all over the place to hit the local Western Colorado trails from Montrose to Grand Junction. Doesn't matter what you have from mild to wild, there's a group to go with. Now, we don't put up many videos of us out dirt biking, but dirt biking is one of our favorite hobbies. So we definitely have to try and get in our fair share of dirt biking as well. Western Colorado is home to some of the best dirt biking in Colorado, and it'd be almost impossible to live here and not be into dirt biking. So last year was also one of the biggest snow years we've had in a long time. Another thing we like to do is take our Jeep up into the high country mountains. Now we make a few videos on that, not a lot, but it's also one of those things we love to do. So getting up into the mountains is really important to us. It's one of the reasons we live out in western Colorado. We have to be able to enjoy those awesome 4x4 roads. Now as we start getting into summer, Memorial Day weekend is also a big weekend for us. So we found ourselves out at our local trails just having a great time with a great group of friends. Now in early June every year in Colorado the Grand Mesa Jeep Club puts on what they call Rock Junction. That's another great event if you're looking for somewhere to go in an organized group. Rock Junction is an awesome event. Now this last year they opened a brand new trail called Pinch Point in the Billings trail area. This was a super cool trail. It's, it's pretty much a rear steer trail. I don't know of a drag axle that's made it through there yet. But anyway, 
getting to open that trail. They had a big event, invited people from all over, and it was super cool to see a new trail being open. All we hear about today is all these trail closures from all over the place. So anytime a new trail can get open, that's absolutely great news to me. Now another thing we did this last summer for the first time was compete in a rock crawling event. So this was our first time ever competing in an event and so how it worked was I spotted my daughter Emily and she drove. We went to Vernal, Utah for our first We Rock rock crawling event. We had a great time and we learned a ton from this trip. After We Rock and Vernal, we took a trip to somewhere I had never been before and it's right here in western Colorado and that place is Rangeley. Rangeley is an awesome area and I can't believe it's taken me this long to make it there and I can't believe more people don't go there. Rangeley is a small town in northwest Colorado that has a rock crawling park and they invite people to come there. They're just like, it's an open invite. You can go there and they're stoked to see people come there. It's a place that wants to see rock crawlers. We often hear too many places that want to close down or aren't really fond of rock crawling and OHVs. Well, Rangeley is a place that loves OHVs and rock crawling, so it's a just for anybody to go there and hit their awesome trail system. This last summer, we also made it down to Cortez, Colorado. So opposite of Rangeley, Cortez is down in the most southwestern corner. We were able to meet up with Philip Talton from Talton Off-Road and Travel. And we're able to make some videos on that, on that area as well. And what's so cool about that is that's another area that's not utilized enough. After all, these are our public lands. They're your public lands. We need to use them. Once again, too many places are being shut down and if people don't go use these areas, I'm afraid they're gonna try to close them down. Not long after our trip down to Cortez, Colorado, we had the Great American Crawl come right here to Montrose, Colorado. That was a great time. We had people from all over come to hit our local trails here in Montrose, Colorado and that was the most people I ever seen in our brand new parking lots. It was really cool to get to show people this awesome trail system that we have here. Now, like I said before, you can't live in a place as beautiful and scenic as Colorado and not want to get out and do other things. Rock crawling is not the only thing we do. Most of our videos lately have been rock crawling, but we get out and do a ton of other things. And enjoying the scenic 4x4 roads that we have in western and southwestern Colorado is another thing that we do and we spend a lot of time doing. So making a trip out to the always amazing Crystal Mill is a must do on our summer list. So as summer started to wrap up and we started to move into fall, we made our way down to Farmington, New Mexico for the We Rock Grand Nationals. This is an awesome event where everybody from the east comes to compete against everybody from the west and they meet in Farmington, New Mexico. And it's a huge rock crawling event. It's a great time. Now, I was once again spotting for Emily, and she's continuing to get better at her driving, and I'm getting better at the spotting, too. We're going to continue to work on a few things for this next year, but we had a great time competing with everyone, something we look forward to doing more in the future. We were also able to get out and do a little bit of wreck wheeling, meet up with some old friends, see some people we hadn't seen for a long time. Now throughout the entire fall, it seems like we were out on the trails almost every weekend. It was literally every weekend we were on the trails from either Montrose up to Grand Junction. So around late October, we found ourselves back out in Sand Hollow for another awesome trip with a great group of friends. We combined this with Ultra 4 Nationals so we could go out and visit Lydia's brother Paul and help them out in the pits for Ultra 4 Nationals. So what an amazing way to end our fall. Going out to Sand Hollow, hitting some awesome trails with a great group of friends, and then hanging out in Lake Havasu and watching the Ultra 4 races. All in all, I look back on the last year and it was truly an amazing time. That's probably the most amount of wheeling I've ever done over a year's time frame. After we got back from Sand Hollow and Lake Havasu, I was like completely exhausted. I just needed to take a break, unwind, and just kind of get back into the normal groove of things. We ended up with a ton of footage from all that stuff. And basically one after another, I'm still 
releasing the footage that we had from that entire fall because we were going so much. So looking back at this fall, after we came back from Lake Havasu, I, I was just like exhausted. I needed a little bit of a break, but we had so much content to go through and that's how I'm still releasing videos to this day of those trips all the way into late fall. Another really cool milestone that we had this fall, just one of those random weekends we were out wheeling our local trails, is when Emily took on Death Row for the first time. Now Death Row is one of the hardest trails that we have in Montrose, let alone Western Colorado. And to see Emily take this trail on and just absolutely kill it, that only can help build her confidence. Now the second time we went back, to hit death row we ended up driving down it from the top and Emily ended up tipping over on the last obstacle or the first one you would say that we dropped back down it didn't phase her she continued to attack the trail with confidence we got her rolled flipped back over onto her wheels she drove back to the bottom only to drive up it again a lot better than she did the first time. And that's what's awesome. You're gonna fall down, we're gonna tip over. We're gonna get back up and we're gonna be better than we were before. Me and Lydia both work full-time. We both have full-time careers. So working on all this stuff at night after work is a challenge. Making videos and such after work, that's a challenge doing all of this stuff that we do, all these trips and keeping up with everything and keeping the RV and trailers and stuff like that all maintained is a huge challenge. We don't have much downtime. We just go, go, go. And that's kind of how our life is. We don't really have that, that downtime to sit around and watch a movie or watch TV. We just go, go, go and we're always working on something. I've always got a project. There's something that needs to be fixed. So I do the best I can with these videos. I try to try to improve, but it's a it's a lot. We have very full lives and I enjoy it, having a blast. And we're just gonna continue to see what we can do going forward. So I just wanna wish everybody a happy new year. Um, wish everybody the best and hopefully we'll see you out there. Thanks.